Hi, my name is Pete Newen and uh, I'm the owner of Two Foodies. And we started in 2017. Uh, so I was born in Vietnam, uh, came here as a boat uh, refugee, and I came here when I was about 10 years old and basically grew up here. Uh, starting out as a refugee, I mean, it's never easy at all. Uh, I mean, the, the language barrier and then, you know, just getting through, uh, and yet yeah, it's, it's been a hard, hard. Basically, just, just starting a new life since we, you know, come over here is basically everything's all new, adapting to the culture and, and just fit in, fit in to the, to the society. I always envisioned to start my own business uh, ever since a young age. So what made me start my own business is basically I can be more in control, make changes in a good way and also contribute as well. So before starting Two Foodies, I was uh, in car sales for about 10 years. And then uh, went overseas and clothing manufactured for about three years in Vietnam. Uh, and yeah, so after I'm back, I started Two Foodies there. So to start Two Foodies, um, what makes me uh, decide to go down that path is basically mm. try, just trying something out new, trying something in the food industry. Um, uh, because I, I think that I always sort of have a knickknacks for uh, putting food together, making new ingredients, uh, and you know, just, just making. Uh, uh, making food for friends and family. So what I love most about running the, the Two Foodies business is basically seeing the satisfactions of customers that's coming in here, enjoying the food, uh, love the way that I put the food together, um, and you know, just the positive vibes coming out of it. That's what keep me going every day. The hardest things about running Two Foodies is um, you gotta keep, or I, I gotta keep the quality uh, and along with consistency, basically up there all the time. That is the hardest thing. And how I do that is uh, basically uh, everything's got to be done by just the one person. That's myself. Uh, I don't leave my food or my ingredients to anyone else. Uh, I do it myself. Yeah, so only the one person do it always turns out exactly the same. So I decided uh, to start down the, the route of doing foes. Basically, foes is our it's, it's like our, our national dish. It's very, very popular. Um, it basically can be uh, had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so I picked that because uh, it's also easy as well. Uh, easy means that it's, it's, it's easy for consumers uh, being very popular. So our two foodies, our specialty here is just doing the pho. We've, we, we call it the pho everything else. It's like the combination. Um, but it's a bit more than that because sometimes we give you a lot of surprises in there too. Before I started here, I didn't know how to cook up at all. Not even a bit. After signing the contract for this place, it's two weeks before the grand opening. Then I learned how to cook five for mum. Yeah. Um, and then basically from there, I mean, with a lot of her sort of knowledge and basic pass on to me. But it didn't, it didn't, it didn't stop there, hey. It's uh, it's 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 evolved through a lot. Um, in terms of the quality of the broth, uh, the age of the broth as well. The broth now is about 30 hours old. It's basically to get that richness and the color that I want. Yeah, you come and have a quick look at the color. The color's almost like very gold, very rich. And that's after the seasoning. It's actually darkened out a bit. What made that color is basically, it's, it's gotta be brewed for about 30 hours. Comparing to what mums make at home and this one now, this one is about four or five times more ingredients, uh, more richness, uh, and even the colours more concentrated as well. About four or five times. See how the colour is quite rich? Still very gold. Now we're going to top it up with some topping.
So the advice I would give um, other people that want to uh, get into the food industry uh, would be give it your all, don't take shortcuts, uh, use full ingredients, don't, uh, don't cheapen anything else, uh, give it everything. One other thing that set us aside from us, from other restaurants, is that uh, we don't actually do table service. We prefer our customer to come up to us uh, and we hand the food over to them. So in that sense, it's, uh, it's a stronger connection between me, the chef, and the customer as well. So I know who I'm cooking for. Um, I can relate to that person a lot more. And uh, so that way, it's just a bit more personal. It gives me a chance to communicate to my customer as well. However, if there's an elderly couple or elderly uh, person coming in here, uh, we obviously, we, we just do that table service for them without even asking. Well, you've got to keep your mind fresh. Keep your mind fresh, you've got to do some exercise, you know. Keep your, sort of, keep your, yeah, keep yourself active as well. Uh, because in this game, I've been doing the same thing all day. Let's get you bogged down a bit.